In this video, I'm going to share a niche that is evergreen, meaning that it sells year round, regardless of the time of year or what's going on at certain times of the year so that you can build a stable income month after month. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back and taking the time to join me here today. In my last video, I talked about boosting your income at certain times of the year through holidays, seasons, and events. And we looked at a children's picture book that makes over $45,000 in just one month, thanks to Halloween. And in that video, I did talk about that while you can make really good income for a month or two with holidays and events, it can make your monthly income pretty unstable and it'll have a lot of ups and downs throughout the year. And so ideally, you want to have a mix of both seasonal books and evergreen books so that your evergreen books, those books that do sell year round, give you a nice stable monthly income and then you can get nice little boosts of incomes a few times throughout the year when you target a season or a popular holiday or event like Christmas, Easter, and Halloween. So after talking about holiday niches in my last video, in this video, I want to talk about evergreen niches and I will share one niche in particular one that I have shared in a few of my videos already. There are some niches out there that do well year round, year after year. And one of those niches is around kids activity books with a focus on some kind of educational element. I shared my first video on this niche around about two years ago now. And in that video, we talked about how well those books were doing and guess what? It's still just as popular, maybe even more so now. And books are doing better than ever in that niche. And this niche will always do well because for one, there is always going to be kids with parents who want to help them learn, get ahead and be prepared for what they are going to be learning at school. Homeschooling is also getting increasingly popular, especially in the US. And parents buy educational style activity books to include as part of that home education. And then in terms of why it's a good niche to publish books in, these kind of books sort of have a bit of a barrier to entry. Not just anyone can make them. You do usually need some kind of software or tools to help you make them. And most people aren't willing to buy the tools that they do need to create these kinds of books. So it is a really smart niche to want to publish books in. In some of my previous videos, some of the books we have been able to make using these specialized tools include the math worksheets generator to help create math problems for kids to solve and learn their math. There is the time worksheets generator that allows us to create problems and puzzles around teaching kids to tell the time and there is the counting wor worksheets generator to help us create fun, creative problems that help kids learn how to count. So if you are someone who has already purchased one of these tools previously, or if you are someone who is interested in creating activity workbooks for kids with an educational element, then this video is for you. And I will just let you know that there is also a new tool coming out very soon that is going to allow us to create books around another type of math problem. So keep an eye out for that. I will give a little sneak peek of it at the end of this video and I will have some bonus videos coming out over this weekend as well, sharing that new tool. But for now, let's take a look at some of these educational activity books for kids so I can show you the type of books that I'm talking about and we'll see how popular books in this niche are. First of all, I've just done a search on the keyword kids workbook just to look at how popular this niche is overall in the sense of educational books in general. It's a massive niche on Amazon. There's over 30,000 books available under kids workbook. Let's have a look at what sort of books are coming up under the educational workbook keyword phrase. We've got some kindergarten workbooks, kindergarten math, learn to write, my first learn to write workbook. I talk about this book regularly in my videos. This book was published by Crystal Radke and is one of the most popular books on Amazon overall, not just low content books. This book would make this publisher so much money. Look how many reviews and ratings it's got. Nearly 84,000 reviews. And that's just the people who have come back to actually leave a review, not the amount of people who have purchased it. We've got some more maths, addition and subtraction, thinking skills, must know sight words, pencil control. So another learn to write sort of book, another sight words and spelling, handwriting, some phonics, kindergarten math workbook. So, so far, most of the more popular ones are to do with kindergarten kindergarten math and learning how to write. We've got some time, money and fractions there. If you haven't already, just keep an eye out for the 
BSRs. So for anyone new to publishing or to Amazon, a BSR is a bestseller rank and it's a number given to every single book in the Amazon bookstore. And it just determines a book's popularity. So these are the BSRs here. So the lower the number, the better. The lower this number, the more that this is selling. So for example, this Learn to Write workbook is 165 out of the millions of books on Amazon. And to give you an idea of how many books that means in terms of sales, let's do a really quick calculation. So we can take the bestseller rank, pop it into a sales calculator, which will estimate that this book is selling over 7,000, nearly 7,200 copies every single month. And that book is one of the most popular books, like I say, one of the most popular low content books. And if you're interested to see what that means in terms of a monthly income, we can look at the royalties and estimate how much that book would make when it's sitting at that bestseller rank of 165. So all we do is we look at this book. It's 84 pages and an 8.5 by 11. So we go to the KDP royalty calculator, 84 pages, 8.5 by 11. And then we just need the price. So it's currently selling for $7.18, which isn't actually the list price. That's just what Amazon's got it set at at the moment. So it's making a $1.47 royalty. So if we take that $1.47 royalty times it by 7,200 books, that's a monthly income of over $10,500 per month for one very simple learning how to write book. So you can see how popular these books are and the potential in terms of earnings, in terms of income on what you can make if you get a book that just takes off and does really well. Now, this book's not new. It's been around for a few years. So it's not something where you're going to publish a book and straight away you're going to get to this sort of level. But over time, it is definitely possible to create something like that. We'll have a look at another one that isn't as established and as popular popular as that one. Let's have a look at this one. This one was published in 2022. So it's been around for a little over a year. It's got a 10,600 bestseller rank, which means it could be selling around 357 books per month. This book has 208 pages with a list price of $12.99. So that would give a royalty of $3.26. $3.26 times by 357 copies. So that particular book is making over $1,000 per month for a book that's been published around about a year. You will find that the most popular age range of this these books seem to be kindergarten age, but that doesn't mean that you can't target older kids. And in fact, it might be a little less competitive to publish books for older kids, say, over 10 years old, for example. The difference between the two, between creating books for kindergarten age kids and older children, is that it will usually be around how creative and fun the book is. With books that are for kindy aged kids, they are going to be bright and colorful. They're going to have images and fun fonts used within them. Whereas the books for older kids and books for even adults who want to learn a certain subject, they're much more simple, probably won't have any images or pictures in them or very minimal images. And so that's just something to keep in mind when deciding what ages to target. If you're not interested in creating books that are very creative with images, etc., then maybe creating books for the older kids without all that in it might be for you. Now that we've looked at the education niche overall, you want to pick a sub niche and make your books a little bit more specific to a subject or a specific type of problem. There's a couple of reasons for this. One, branding and creating a series of books is extremely powerful. I talk about this in quite a few of my videos, something like this. This is the Humble Math brand and they create books that are pretty much specific to maths. When we're looking at their page on Amazon and all of their books, every single book looks the same in terms of the cover design. The branding follows through on every single book that they publish. And that is so that customers can easily identify this brand when they're looking for books on Amazon. So if they like one book that this brand has done and they want more when they're on Amazon and they notice that cover, they're going to know that it's from that same brand. And as I just mentioned, majority of their books, pretty much all of them are around math. So we've got multiplication problems, addition, subtraction, division, finance, Finance, fractions, algebra, there's some time in here, measurements, there is some word problems in here, but most of them are around math and their most popular books are around math as well. So again, this brand specializes in that subject and those kind of books. And that's what's really powerful about creating a brand and creating a series of books. I've mentioned it before, more books sells more books. So the more books that you have that are related within a series and within a brand are going to do much better because it 
is so much easier to sell to a customer who already knows you or your books and loves your books than it is to sell to a customer who has never heard of you before, never tried your books before. Now, I did mention earlier in the video about a new math tool that is going to help us create a specific kind of math book, math workbook, and that I was going to give a little bit of a sneak peek of what that is. And there is going to be a tool that will allow us to create measurement workbooks just like this one. So this is the Humble Math brand. This book is Measurement Basic, so learning the US metric system. And although on this one we can't see the inside of the book and the A plus content doesn't show what's actually inside this book either, there are also no images of the book down in the reviews. So we can't see how this book's laid out, but it does explain on the back of the book that what they're going to learn is about measuring the length of objects, measuring outdoor lengths, learning how to use a thermometer to take the temperature, learning about ingredients for recipe and about weighing items. So those are the type of problems that you can create by using this tool, which is going to be coming out in a couple of days. Now, in terms of how well this book does, it was only published in March, but it's sitting with a bestseller rank of just under 20,000. So it's doing really well considering how new it is. And also considering that this isn't yet a huge niche. And currently there aren't a lot of books with measurement problems in them because they are difficult to make. So this is a great opportunity to be able to publish books in a niche that the majority of people are not going to be able to make books for. And so this is just going to give us another way to create and publish books that most other people are not going to be able to make on their own. Tools like this give us an edge and a way to make books that are really unique and different and in niches that are really hard to get into for most people. This tool is coming out soon, so I am sharing some bonus videos this week showing the tool when it launches and when it's going to be available to, for sale. I'll talk about how to get it, how much it is, all that stuff. So if you are interested in that, make sure to come back in a couple days and check out those videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.